Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are on the long drive. Finally. It's been a while, actually. Um, we've got the jippy music playing. Let's get the HUD up. There we go. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been on this. Um, we're still on the search for a bus engine. And we're still on the search for a sponge to... Uh, clean our dash here. So hopefully we can get that sorted today. Um, oh! Before we build up too too much speed, let's uh, see if there's anything cool in here. Uh, there's a turd. That's always good. It's a bit of oil there. Um, how do I... Yeah, that's diff. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, that's cool. There's a car magazine on the back as well. Alright. <gasps> we can get our grill back! Ha! Stick that on there. Let's go, baby. Ah. So, how are we all doing? Um, get the lights on. Yeah, I hope we're all doing well. I'm actually doing pretty well myself. I've got my new glasses. Um, I forgot to mention in the last video, actually, that I got my glasses all sorted out. I think I mentioned in a previous video that I had my eyes tested and I got some new lenses, but I finally got them the other day. Tried them, and they make my face look twice as good. It's a shame that my massive head brings it back down again. But no, um... I'm very pleased that we finally got that I finally got my glasses back. Some ones that don't hurt my eyes. Um, got my sunglasses back. I had to have new lenses put in them because my prescription changed. I only managed to wear them about five times, maybe last year. Um, but. Here's, I'm crossing my fingers and my toes that I actually get to use it this year. Uh, last year I went on holiday to Turkey. My goodness, that just didn't go well. Uh, we were supposed to go for two weeks. The first week was all good and all dandy. I wear my sunglasses pretty much 24-7 and it was hot, let me tell you. Um, second week, I must have ate something or drank something and every part of every every part of my inside started to fall out without without going into too much detail it wasn't a good time i can promise you that so yeah i didn't really get to use my glasses <laughs> as much as i thought i would on that holiday oh, let's slow down here Oh, stuff all. Let's uh, turn the engine off. Have a sleep. Yeah. So hopefully this year we got a much better year, much better weather in England. Some sunny days, which will hopefully be good for. Um, doing uh, gardening as well. I've, like, like I've been mentioning recently, I've been uh, doing... Uh, I've been doing some potatoes and stuff like that. So hopefully we actually get some good weather to... get some nice growth. Um, we just need a sponge, for goodness sake.
I bet we're not even going to find a sponge in here either. People are going to think like I'm lying or something. I, I, I bet I've messed a sponge somewhere, but... Every single place I've been to, I haven't managed to find a sponge. I just need one to clean up the blood I've <laughs> caused in the front of my car. Uh, some shotgun shells. I got. Uh, actually, we can equip this and do this front grill. Make it look all nice. Is that the last stage? I think so. Okay. We've got one part of the car done. I don't think that this can fix it. I think it has to be the sponge. Yeah. No. Like how? Oh, auto saving again. Jesus. Nothing under here. It's just. No. Everyone's going to think I'm lying. Like, how is it not possible to find a sponge? Well, uh, we move. We're literally going to be going to going door to door. Stay on the road here. I'm trying to look at my phone at the moment because I wanted to sh quickly shout out someone that commented on my video because <laughs> he left quite a funny comment. Oh god! Oh, let's let's just slow down because I want to find this fucking guy. Um. Uh, who is it? Sonic Lover DS. First of all, great name, by the way. Uh, he said on my 20 Small Mazes um, video, he said, judging by his puzzle solving skills, Sam seems like the sort of person who'd never be able to find his way out of an IKEA store. <laughs> First of all, man, uh, thank you for the comment. It actually did make me laugh. Um, I only put a small comment, but I wanted to sort of elaborate on here. How the hell does anyone find their way out of those places? Like, I've I've seen uh, my girlfriend. She always wants to go to the massive one. There's a massive one in um, uh, Nottingham, I think. And I always say to her, no way, because I'll be... Th there's no way you'll get out of there in two or three hours. You have to look at every piece of furniture in there. So I don't know how any man goes in there and doesn't end up being in there for about five years. You know what would happen if I went there? What would happen is I'd end up there, get lost down one of the walkways, and I'd end up building myself a house, basically. A whole living room dining room and everything and just live off what people give me like just begging for food because I can't find my way out that's what would happen but yes I just wanted to quickly give that person a shout out because it was quite funny thank you Sonic Lover DS um, again great name I thought I did well on those puzzles, for a f first time run at it, you know? Maybe you've seen speedruns of it. But yes, thank you. Anyway. We're up to 712 kilometers. 
We're on flat, flat lands right now. Is that a house coming up? Start to slow down because this car does not like to brake. Look, I bet we're going to go another 100 kilometers and we won't be able to find um, the bus engine that we so so sorely need really. Uh, where's my gun? It's just a couple hands in there. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Some turds. It's always good. Turds on the roof. It's not as good. You, you've got to be desperate to do that. Some gas in there. Yeah. What was in here again? That's empty. Can we stick this to the car? Uh, G? Ah, oh, hell yeah. We've got to put the other one on the other side. Uh, G. <laughs> that's silly. That's, that's really silly. Um, where's the fuel? Top ourselves back up again. I want to see if we can rotate the hand. Yes. So it's like you can high five it on the way around. <laughs> yeah. So as you're driving past, you can just like. <laughs> proper high five. That would fucking hurt. Have you ever been, like, high-fived, like, hard? That would always happen in school. People would, like, try and be hard. And, like, just be like, like high-five or, like, slap your hand as hard as they could. And you'd have to stand there be, being like, oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, good times. Speaking of school, I know this doesn't really uh, relate to anything. <laughs> I've fucking watched Diary of a Wimpy Kid again recently. Um, I watched the first one and the second one. I didn't watch Dog Days because I think that's that one's a little bit meh. Like I've seen Dog Days. You turn on the movie and he's he he goes from talking like this to talking like this, and it's a bit jarring. <laughs> first of all, but no, the first two Diary of a Wimpy Kid films, they are ace, right? Perfectly encapsulates school. <laughs> Not really, but you know, and I think for people who have watched that those films the uh, the scene of Greg singing like a beautiful angel will always stick in our minds as like one of the greatest pieces of cinema in the 21st century I don't think that's too obscure to say I think that's perfectly reasonable <laughs> You know, people say, like, Scarface is one of the best films, or Goodfellas, or whatever. No, I think it's Diary of a Wimpy Kid. <laughs> Roderick rules. That's what I say. That's what I say on Reddit forums, and no one gets mad at me. Uh, 
Oh, and the cheese touch. Cry, okay. Uh, just little jokes like that in school. That keep running as well as you grow up through the years at school. Running jokes in schools, they're always good. You'll have to let me know because it's it's definitely it's, it's set in an American school, so American people will have to tell me how accurate it is. I I imagine it's not. The uh, oh, what's her face? The uh, girl who sues the gym person for not letting her wrestle. That seems accurate. I feel like you people love a, a good suing. You know, I'm not mad at it. Just a... Just an observation. Got another house up here in the distance. Are we getting the same vehicle again? Are we still... Yeah, we still got both hands. That's awesome. We can change the paint of our car. Oh, auto-saving. There's a door just in case we needed that. Oh, hell yeah. Minecraft. Got to get the Minecraft lady in our car. Anything else? Oil. Oil. Jesus. Oh. Are these cigarettes? What? Possibly. And some footballs. Nothing really of interest. Uh. What was that noise? <laughs> That's a cartoon punch noise. What is that? Ah! <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, it is Siggy's. We could role play as uh Fuck I have completely forgot the name. The Australian cartoon who's like always high. Fuck, I've completely forgot the name. Oh, hopefully it comes to me because I don't want to <laughs> I'll, I'll just be sitting here for twenty minutes searching. I don't know why Bojack Horseman is coming into my mind. That's what I'm. Tr that's not what I'm trying to think of, but it's close. What am I even doing? I'm just like <laughs> flooding with my car with cigarettes. I won't even use them. Just a fridge. Oh, we're also saving again. Anything cool? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Some gas, but 0 0.1 litres, so... Not too bothered about that. May as well take the last pack of ciggies while we're here. That's not what I wanted to do. Have we lit it? Is it just in our mouth? I can't tell. Let's just go to sleep then, I guess. <laughs> I 
Oh, it is left hand. Left mouse button. Why did I say left hand button? This Minecraft character is a bit in your face now, but... Ah. You always need a girlfriend in your window there. How do you how do you, how do you smoke the ciggy, mate? I need to smoke smoke the ciggy, mate. Fuck! I can't remember the name of that cartoon. Oh, this is dangerous. Looking at my phone while driving. Okay, home. Oh, search. Oh no. Um. Fucking hell. Australian cartoon. Pause that there. Um, big Les, fuck's sake. Fucking Big Les show. Why couldn't I remember? I have a problem with that. As soon as I think of something, it, the name of it just immediately goes out of my head. <laughs> I just didn't want to be sat here searching up the show for about five minutes in silence. Seven hundred and twenty eight kilometers. You know of my farming farming, like I'm doing a whole thing. With my planting, I should say. With my planting, I've gotten a lot faster at riddling, like taking out the big rocks. What I found out was I was actually doing it too thoroughly and it was just taking ages, I was just thinning down the soil too much because apparently it's bad for it, if it, bad for the soil if it has too much air. So I, I've only taken taken the, like, the big huge rocks out. And it's gotten, I've managed to do it a lot faster. How do we get the cigarette out of my goddamn mouth? Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Also, I saw a rabbit, so I don't want to be jump scared by a fucking. Some traffic cones. What's this? Was that a cat? Oh, it's a chihuahua! Ooh. Don't, didn't we have one in? Did we lose our last one? Oh no, he's there! Look at him! <laughs> got us, we got a little buddy now. Put one of our... Let's get two cones just in case we break down. You never know. That reminds me. I need to get myself an accident triangle for my car. Because apparently that's the thing that people are meant to do.
Um, tea. No, don't want to sleep yet. Hell yeah. What did I press? X? No idea. Smoke it right down to the filter, my goodness. That's disgusting, man. F. There we go. Ah, uh, so we've got one puppy down there, and we've got another down there. That's kind of scary. No sponges again, though. We're at 730 kilometers, and we haven't found a bus engine or a sponge. We did have a sponge, but I think we lost it in a crash, and we and I decided I didn't want it. I didn't want to pick it back up. So this is the kind of situation that that gets you into, unfortunately. So we're having to stop now every single time because the blood the blood on the dash causes it not to display the right fuel level for whatever reason. Like you can see the two red lines, but you saw me fill it up to like 40 litres. So you know it's not true. So for whatever reason the blood just makes the display not work. So we're out on a mission to find a thing. A sponge, more specifically. Ugh, I need a drink soon. For this morning's breakfast, um, I'm going to have leftover hot dogs um, from last night's tea. I know it doesn't sound incredibly healthy, but, you know, you, ca you can't waste sausages. Let's be honest here. There's some, there's some leftover buns, leftover uh, onions and stuff like that. So why not, you know? I'm going to treat myself. I'm going to have a hard day's work doing farming. I'm going to keep calling it farming, even though it's like two meters squared of, like, dug up land. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to keep calling it farming. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care if having hot dogs in the morning isn't the best food group to have. <laughs> I don't care what my school said about half, how far down the pyramid or how far up the pyramid. I think something just broke. Yeah, do you remember those food pyramids? About how little you should have? Okay, things are happening. Look at this car. It's done that twice now. Maybe it's the swingy things. Hmm. Yeah, basically, point is, I don't care. I'm going to have hot dogs tomorrow and get the energy up for my digging. Well, actually, not digging now because I'm filtering the soil, but still. Oh, man. I'm just talking rubbish now, aren't I? Seven hundred and forty kilometers, almost. I feel like something's making... Is it the cones? Right, let's coast to this, uh... We weren't having this problem before, so uh, space, space out these things. There you go. That hopefully should sort it out. 
I don't see what else it could be. I don't know. Maybe we take the danglies out. I don't know why, but luck luckily we're auto-saving every five seconds, so... Just in case the car does explode. We've got that. Is that fun? What a useless light. Let's see what we got. It's a nice hand. Oh. That could come in handy for our long trips. All right. I was. I, I questions whether I should be dirty, but you know. That just came out for whatever reason. <laughs> Please excuse my dirty mouth. I need to go wash wash it out now with soap. Did your parents ever do that to you? Wash your mouth, mouth out with, with soap? That was never a thing with me. Maybe I was a privileged little boy. <laughs> I wish that happened. Oh. No, washing uh, mouth out with soap was never a thing in my house. Maybe my parents weren't stri strict enough or something. Yeah, maybe my parents weren't strict enough, so I started to become a YouTuber. Maybe that was maybe that's why I'm doing this. Oh, my fuel cap's open. Right. Um, let's see if sorting out those cones has worked. Right, we're up to speed, so if our car starts freaking out again, I might move the dangly things. My Minecraft girlfriend that's in my peripherals right now. Maybe we get rid of the cones if it carries on. Uh, we're starting to come back into some mountainous terrain, which is actually nice because we can go faster on mountains using momentum. All right, let's stop being a fucking nerd. Because I think this game simulates... simulates in quotations that simulates engine braking. Because you can go faster just coasting. I know I'm going slower now, but still going downhill, so it's saving fuel. It's cruising down here at 140. Bloody hell though, it was nice to be driving again in my car with a non-exploded tyre. I was slightly worried, I was like s slightly sketched out because I was like, oh is it going to explode again, you know. It would just be my luck if it just went again. But I guess I've got to get over that really. Um, I think tomorrow, um, or today... I'm going to go out and get the proper socket set because I didn't I I was missing one tool to get the the tire off so I had to um get my girlfriend's dad out to give us a hand but it was just a 19 mm socket um that I needed that I didn't have in my car I had the 20 socket the 20 mm socket to get the main bolts off but there was a locking nut on the car that was, that had a 19 mil um, thing on it, so that's my next job. 
get a breakdown triangle and a 19 mil socket and then I can change my tires um, if anything does happen. I also need to, I've got my own tool set and everything so I, I do probably need to put that in my car just in case. But yeah, you never know do you? Let's turn the hood off for a bit. Yeah, we're going uphill now, baby. Get ready for some mountainous bits. Maybe we can do some more barrel rolls. That <laughs> that clip went fucking crazy. I d I, I'm not going to say viral because it was like maybe a hundred views, the short got. A couple hundred. But, you know, for a person like me, for a channel like me, that's, that's pretty good. Tell you what though, keeping on the comment, the comment that I was mentioning in, mentioning earlier, that was on the over Ubercat Overdrive. Oh no, I'm thinking of a different. Sorry, on the Ubercat Overdrive video. Bloody hell, that's got like 150 views. Goddamn. And that's like a special thank you to you guys. What the hell? Why am I going so slow? I'm going. Am I not going downhill? I thought I was going downhill. Oh, there's a bus. 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 Uh, all right. Let's. Hello. Oh, let's not do that. Oh, I am falling asleep. I didn't have the hood on. That's why. All right. I'm gonna have a drink. It's nothing like apple and black currant to quench your thirst. Possibly my favourite flavoured drink. Either that or those Rubicon drinks. If you know if you know what I'm talking about, then you 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 know what I'm talking about. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a bus engine. Bloody hell! It's only taken fucking like 600 kilometres. Like. What, 600? What am I talking about? Like 800 kilometers? Got the uh, coolant here as well. Alright. Actually, it's probably easier to bring the car to that. I literally got stuck on the. Right, all we need to do is find the appropriate f fuel. So next time we come across an, uh, a, uh, what am I trying to say right now? A boat. Right, let's take all this. <laughs> Is that in? Come on. There we go. Get this bottle back in. What uh, coolant do we have? That's 20 litres. I think this is possibly more. Oh, I didn't keep any of the... Uh, Scrapies. F. 
Uh, oh, that's possibly why we don't want it. We don't want our cells catching on any more shit. So, yeah, let's take that out. This is, yeah, it's 20 liters. And I don't think it runs out. Right, finally, officially 750 kilometers. And we've finally got the bus engine. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a quick search for a sponge. I don't think we're going to get it, but uh, it's a rear view mirror. I, don't th I think we lost ours, didn't we? The hell is that? It's a chalky bar. 0 0.4 litres of gas in there. Get out of this fucking thing. Why am I swearing? <laughs> it just occurred to me that I'm like swearing a whole bunch. Uh, I've... Bad news, guys. Oh, no. No. I thought I lost that. Uh, F. Lovely. We're starting to get back on track. There we go. Keep an eye on our things. Come on. Yes. Oh. No idea what happened there, but we're off. <laughs> I think we're off. Uh, we're going uphill. I can't tell if the engine is having an effect on our speed, because we're definitely not going 160 like normally. have to wait and see. I think as soon as we run out of fuel next, hopefully we have some diesel saved up. Because I think the bus engine is faster and you can get diesel in more of an abundance. Than just regular gas. Just coast along here nicely. Yeah, over the next few days, uh, I mentioned it last video, but we've got some interesting videos coming up. Uh, there's been some nice free games coming out on like Epic Games and stuff like that. I don't know if you ever check it out, but f um, Epic Games often release free games every week or so, I think it is. Every week or two. But yeah, we've got um, a few interesting games coming up. So I'm excited to play those. Some classic games as well. So that'll be awesome. When we get to that. Jesus. Bloody hell, get me in a CSGO team. Do you see that? What even is that? Is that a light or something? What the hell? Is it a lung? <laughs> it might be a lung. Uh, some more oil. 
Come on, just give me... Stop pressing Q, you... Another Chihuahua. A light. Please take me home. Oh, all right, Chihuahua. Uh, you've you've convinced me. All right, we've got another friend. You just have to take him, though, don't you? No sponges still. Oh, come on. Sick. <sighs> well, just like we uh, found the bus engine eventually, we will find the sponge. Now, if it took us 756 kilometers to find a bus engine, how bloody long do we have to wait to get a sponge? It can't be that much. It can't be lo much longer. We've been searching for one for like two or three episodes now. It's not good. There is a boat out there that we could possibly get diesel from. If we go buy it, we might might nick some. Only if we go right by it though, because I can't be bothered just to ride out there for no reason, because we've got plenty of fuel at the moment. Not as mountain mountainous as I thought it would be. I thought when we started going uphill, we'd just be coming crashing back down. But we haven't had a really any any big downhill moments. Hmm. Which also concerns me because I feel like we're going back uphill now. And if we haven't had any major downhill moments yet, um, that could be cause for some concern. We've got 40 kilometers left, so we're over halfway. Look at that, you can see the road. <gasps> oh man. Uh, where's our binoculars? There we go. That fucking thing. Fuck you. Actually, while we're here, let's check out the road. So it goes all the way up hill. We go past the station, which we'll stop at. All the way, all the way up there, over the crest of the hill. Another thing there. Right. Let's get to that house. Come on, let's manifest together. Let's hold hands and close eyes. There will be a sponge in this house. There will be a sponge in this house. There just has to be, right? Tell you what. If there isn't a sponge in this house, it's because one of you didn't close your eyes and manifest. Can we agree on that? Did one of you manifest a rusty old trailer? Because it's here. <laughs> uh, there's a turd. I bet one of you fucking... One of you fuckers imagined that, didn't you?
Once again, though, it seems... <gasps> thank you. Thank the Lord, for he is good. Or thank you, viewers, for, for you are good. Wait. Oh, f no. <gasps> yes, we have... Oh, I might cry. I might cry. We have a clean dash for the first time in about five episodes. Thank you to everyone who manifested and... Oh. That's 200 of these. How many is this? Let's actually chuck that. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have a clean ride. There was only one level left, so that's that's all we could use it for, but let's... Look how nice it looks. Ah, oh, man. I don't think you guys know how unbelievably happy I am. Look at how nice it is. We can see everything. It's it's not a horrible shade of red anymore. Ah. Oh. My life is now happy and complete. Guaranteed five seconds into this, <laughs> we're going to have blood by the end. I'm going to go head first into one of these poles by accident. Oh dear. Right. No, not quite yet. I don't want to go head first quite yet. Right, we are at the crest of the hill where it does a bit of a U-turn, we saw. We saw that from down, down the hill. I'm ready to p turn off the uh, ignition so we can coast downhill. Look at this, look at this drop off. It just looks like we're going down. Oh my God. Why is it all just so white? What is going on right now? That wasn't quite as downhill as I thought it would be. Well, I guess we're just on flat lands again for now. From the way it curved, I thought we were just going like straight downhill, but suppose not. Which again is a scary thought because eventually it will, I'm sure of it. We've gone too far uphill. Newton's third law or whatever those nerds say. <laughs> what did that nerd say? Newton? Einstein? Whatever. Yeah. We've come up. Now it must come down. Thirty kilometers left, baby. Do I have diesel? I have a feeling like I have diesel in the back. 
I just got a sudden feeling that we might have diesel. So we could do the change now. Well, I, I've completely passed that, so... Oh, I've got to stop, I've got to stop, just in case there is a better engine. This is screwing up the metrics. Oh, turn. Beautiful. Stop it. Wait, where's the lifty thing? Oh. Every single time. Ah, no, we were wrong. That's kind of terrifying. Come on. Can you blame me? Look, for all you know, because it's a rusty bus, for all you knew, there could have been a fully fueled engine in there, a fully oiled and a fully watered cooler there as well. You know, ru never judge a book by its cover. It could have been rusty on the outside, just absolutely pristine and perfect. Oh, is this where we go downhill? We go downhill, but it looks like we go straight back up again. Don't get too larry now, we don't want to go careening downhill. Right, turn the back engine back on. We need the momentum now. Keep up the momentum, baby. We're going like 90 degrees uphill. Perfect. I don't know why we're even stopping. We've got everything we want for now. I just need the diesel, which I think I have. I just need to make a stop to check if there's diesel in the back and then maybe make that change the next time we play. If I haven't got diesel in the back, then I've got free, I'm sure, I'm I might be going crazy, but I'm sure we've got diesel. The only thing we might need is oil, because I think the bus engine takes a lot more oil than the regular engines. Twenty kilometers left, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'll start role playing as a airline pilot. And if you look to your left, you'll see desert wasteland. And if you look to your right, you'll see more desert wasteland. I think it'd be pretty good. I mean, I'm barely qualified never flown a plane before um, only just capable with a compass <laughs> you know I did a few a few uh, orienteering trips in my day you know I was always assigned with the compass if that helps convince you you guys to 
take a flight with me. Um, did you guys ever do that? I d oh, in college, I did. Um, fuck, what's it called? It's like it's like a course to help you be a police person or a fucking like fireman. It's like supposed to help you get into that shit. I never did anything with it. It was just something to do because I didn't know what to do with my life at that point. But yeah, we constantly got sent out on trips to to do orienteering and uh, use compasses and shit like that because apparently that's that's a thing that helps you get into the police. I don't know. Someone will have to tell me if it, if it worked for them. We're just going to go careening past here. What is happening? I think there was, <laughs> there was just a load of shit that spawned there. I am swearing a lot. <laughs> I need to calm down. YouTube's going to hate me. <laughs> I promise YouTube I'll be, I'll be better. Nah. God, I really am a YouTuber. Started bowing at the knee to the Lord of YouTube. I won't swear, I won't, I won't, I won't do anything. I promise. It's probably too early for me. Maybe I'm swearing because I know what stuff I've got to do after I finish this video. This is an uphill now, baby. Engine temps are getting high. You know, here's here's a bit of a personal one, I guess. Um, my girlfriend's sister has just started talking to this dude guy. Like, she's had him over a, um, a couple times, I think, now. And I only met him the other day. I, like, face-to-face -face met him for the, the other day. And he came in and said hi. I think I've mentioned before, but I'm a, a slight... A slight autist. So... I don't know if it's just me or if I'm overthinking it or whatever, but what the hell do you say? <laughs> what the hell do you say to someone that you meet for the first time? I, I know you say hi, you know. I just, all I did was say, you know, you're right. Because that's what I imagine people would say to someone. To come across as, as normal, I guess. <laughs> You know, said hi, you're right. Made them both a coffee the next morning. I think that was the nicest thing I could do. Make them the, their morning coffees. I think that's how you get in a person's good book. Or bad book. Make them a bad coffee. It's your straight in the evil book. But make, make a man and a woman a good morning coffee. You know, you're getting something good for Christmas, baby. You're getting at least ten pounds in your next birthday card. <laughs> I don't know how... Because I've been with my girlfriend for like four years now or whatever. And I've seen her sister quite a lot. So, I d uh, you know... Maybe, maybe other men can help me out, or maybe women. You know, what, what do I do? You know, do I, do I take him out, do I take him out into an alley, say, you know, threaten him with, 
threaten him with abuse if he hurts her. Shit like that. Or will that scare him off? Or is, it, or is that is that something assholes do? I think that's possibly something I've got from movies. I think for their first date, um, my girlfriend's sister and her fella, they first they went out on a date to do they did bowling, I think. And the first time he came over, he said, you know. We should have joined them. We should have joined them both. Which I wouldn't have liked. Because, well, I'll tell you why. I'm fucking awful at bowling. Um, my girlfriend, who has zero coordination, who falls over co constantly, and couldn't throw a tennis ball to save her life, she does better at bowling than me. So that, th that's saying something. You know? So I don't want to turn up to a, to a date, to, to, you know, to a couple's first date, and lose to a guy, <laughs> you know? I think that'd be slightly emasculating, don't you think? I think possibly I'm thinking about it too hard again, but, you know, turn up to a first date, and you're completely, like, demolished by this guy she started seeing. Uh, after all that talking, we're almost there. I just got completely distracted then. Almost got lost in the weeds, as people say. Yeah. Maybe these other autists can help me. With what to say to new people. Especially people that you're supposed to be nice to, I imagine. <sighs> that, though, will do it for today. Um, yeah. Like I said, over the next day or two we've got some fun games coming up, so I'm excited for them. But, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'll uh, talk to you again in the, uh, um, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Um, I'll come up with some more rubbish to say because <laughs> I've been absolutely waffling along. I think it's possibly too early for my brain to start functioning yet. But other than that, again, thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed my absolute rubbish talking. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care of yourselves, and goodbye.